If you're watching this, it means you are an Inside Out fan. And actually, who isn't? But if not, let me tell you a little bit about Inside Out. Inside Out follows 11 years old of Riley, whose emotions, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust struggle to navigate her move to San Francisco. Joy and sadness get lost in Riley's mind, leading to a chaos, but they eventually learn to appreciate each other, helping Riley accept her new life and find balance. But if you're not aware, we already have Inside Out 2 after a couple years. And to be honest, I loved, love, I swear I love Inside Out 2 even more than the first one. But let me tell you a little bit about Inside Out 2. We will be able to see Riley's journey into adolescence and actually we have new emotions following embarrassment, boredom, envy, anxiety and nostalgia. Hmm. These emotions work together with the original ones to help Riley navigate the complexity of growing up while having all feelings balanced. And that was quite interesting because I won't give a lot of spoilers, but I already told you about anxiety. So if you know, you know. So let's start with Joy. She is the lightest light in Riley's mind and she is shining through even the darkest of time. She was born with an infection smile and optimistic spirit. She navigates complexity of emotions with boundless energy and her mission with Riley is to actually ensure her happiness. I forgot to put my headset so let's go <laughs> so let's start with joy hair her hair is actually really really short and i would say like a current style hair and i don't know I, I don't i'm not quite sure i want to go that way with hair because um she's she's joy you know she's happiness and i'm not sure that is her vibe um so um what i'm gonna do is maybe try to find a hairstyle that is quite of short as well or maybe updo i don't know let's try to see if we can find one here i think i like this one here just because it's it's short and well it's not sure but but you know it's pretty quite understandable of her bangs as for her earrings i'm going to choose this ones although we're not able to see if she has one <laughs> i think this one is pretty cute as for her makeup i honestly the only thing that i see is uh, lipstick and apparently she has like an eye like the, her eyelids her eyeshadow is blue so what I'm gonna do is to try to find a really nude color um, and I'm actually trying to um, refer colors and move move it in order for it to be just neutral color hopefully i'm doing it right i i quite actually struggle with that sometimes because i normally just choose one color and you know we're good i'm going to use this light blotch and as for her eyelids i'm going to choose a maybe a light blue but we'll see how that actually looks if not i will probably use eyeliner or maybe like a really light baby blue perhaps let's see what we can find okay so i found this eyeliner i think it's quite cool it has this freshness maybe this um because we have to remember she's actually kind of like a kid and i say that because when they actually see teenager face they were actually quite shocked so let's go over with her clothes so she has a pretty quite green dress with blue flowers or blue sparkles I'm not sure what exactly is that. Let's try to see if we can actually find something like that. I actually think this one is really cute. This is a custom content, by the way. This is gorgeous. Um, and I think we found a good one here. We have this dark and light green it has like flowers but let's see if you can find another option we have the second option it's quite interesting it has green as well and flowers um but not blue or white we have this one also i really don't like this <laughs> one at all but um maybe it's giving joy i don't know what you guys think but i'm i'm not i'm not feeling this i'm not feeling this dress what do you guys think about this one i think this one is the winner to be honest we can actually try to change the color to see if maybe we have another better option but to be honest i think i'm going to stay with that i'm not going to choose another uh dress
dress or not the clothes because she actually never changes funny <laughs> and but we can actually add i'm actually going to add a ring just in case but actually we don't see any but you know just to give it like the perspective of reality i will actually add it beautiful nail polish maybe green maybe white blue or even orange i'm not sure let's see what we have i think we have this beautiful yellow color so i think that would be definitely it and as for the toes yellow as well why not as for the difficult part we're going to straight to the shoes and she actually doesn't have one maybe we can choose flat shoes perhaps these style of ballerina and we can choose them in blue and with that we already have our final look for her aspiration i'm going to choose uh, probably family because she's always there for riley she's always trying to uh look maybe for her success in her life so as for traits i'm going to probably choose um cheerful definitely that's one thing and we can also maybe try creative i think she's really perfectionist at least i think she doesn't like to fail and that is why sometimes she has this collapse emotions with the other emotions i actually uploaded to the gallery if you want to use her so here it is the final look of joy what do you guys think let's go over with this next character this i will not tell you who it is i'm going to say what he is and you'll guess okay so let's go over with a fury garden and friendly in sense of justice he has intense passion and quick temper he reacts to impulsively situations when he perceives unfairness or injustice so he dislikes besides you know the injustice and unfairness he dislikes being ignored and untold to calm down when he feels strongly about something. Did you guess? Yes, it's anger. So, being that said, I quite struggle a little bit with a little bit, just a little bit, finding his eyebrows. So, let's go over to see this character. So, obviously, mainly he's really mad all the time so we have to put like this unique eyebrows and i think i will have to customize it a little bit i think that i'm going to leave it just like that you probably are saying what the hell is that well it is what it is i'm trying my best okay do not judge me so let's go over with the bird i think his facial hair um might be there even though we are not able to actually see it because i don't want to be i don't want his skin to be red what i'm gonna do is to instead place facial hair and his hair well he doesn't he's bald but besides that <laughs> um the facial hair will be probably red so i think it's quite interesting this i'm not sure if if you guys have seen any youtuber make a anger character like this but to be honest this is what i really like so let's go over with his clothes as for the shirt what i'm going to do the top is going to be a long sleeve shirt he has actually a long wide sleeve shirt um he is giving like grandpa or maybe dad vibes whenever they're working on office so that and also tie and actually i think it's quite difficult to look in since a long sleeve shirt and a tie so we have a variety of options none of them are quite right with the tie it's not quite right so i guess we will have to choose whatever option is best over here um but i do want the long sleeve to be wide so let's see what else we can find this probably is my last option to be honest i tried to find it but i couldn't i was about to choose this one but again it is not it so what i'm gonna do is to choose again the one that you saw before the white long sleeve with this black eye it is not the best option though but again i couldn't find anything so let's go over with the pants it is quite interesting because the colors of the pants are literally like blue in between and purple so and we also have a brown belt we have this khaki option 
but you know what i think i'm going to choose this custom content and i'm going to choose this purple ish um color with the black belt and i think that will work we obviously have to put him some socks and after that these shoes he has in the picture i see like a black shoes but we can really see like the style of it which is quite funny that he has shoes but joy doesn't like what the hell or she does but in the picture she didn't i'm so confused right now i think i'm going to choose this one here um or this i'm not even sure i think i'm gonna choose this one to be honest and it will be in black mm -hmm. so this is the final look of anger so let's go over with the aspiration i think i'm going to choose the same one as the family options but to be honest we can also choose the divine's one just to make it interesting mm -hmm. so Let's see. Let's go over with that because he has a lot of emotions. As for the traits, I think I definitely will choose erotic because again, because he always has unpredictable emotions and that is quite right. But you know what? No, I'm going to choose the self-assured and the hot-headed. He's definitely hot-headed. But should the third emotion be evil? or family oriented i don't think he will be family oriented to be honest but let me see you again we can definitely choose bookworm he always has a newspaper in his hand so maybe that's his vibe and with that we have anger ready for action let me tell you a little bit about sadness she quite often feels out of place in riley's mind but her role is more significant than she realizes though often overlooked sadness compassionate nature and inside perspective are crucial in helping riley navigate through tough times i'm going to give you guys something else I'm going to make her home in the future, so keep an eye for that. We currently see that we don't have a lot of options here for the glasses, but that will be it. We will choose this one. What do you guys think? Let's go over with her hair. Let's see if we can find a cute but jet small bob. That was quite quite long to be honest no i like this one maybe use the original content from sims we have that one i don't like that um not not that one i think is really cute this one is perfect i think i'm going to choose this one definitely it's short and it's giving um cuteness it's kind of interfering with the glasses a little bit but i think i'm going to leave it as it is as for the makeup she clearly doesn't have anything at all so maybe we can add some eyeliner perhaps maybe this one for, for sure it's just i want just something really simple if not i'm just will clear it out and as for the lips I think the list it will be also nude. I actually want to point out something. Whenever you see me creating a sim, I like to use diversity um, because I'm a Latina, um, actually Hispanic, but people tend to say Latina because that is it. Um, but we don't, I, I don't, I don't quite often see myself in Sims. I don't quite often see Latinos being represented. So if you see my Sims and you see, whoa, this is really different from the ones that I've seen before. Yeah, I will definitely include diversity and a little bit of, you know, quite different vibes. So I hope you don't mind that. <laughs> Go over now with her clothes. As for the shirt, it's a sweater. It's definitely a sweater. What we have to look right now it's which one is prettier and which one is better this is custom content and i'm so sorry if you don't like custom content to be honest i prefer custom content rather than the original clothes from sims and i'm so sorry sims but we have a lot of work to do i really like this sweater it's this is the second option we have and i think it's just too long i really want that cozy grandma style life not grandma but you know what i mean like that type of sweater that you will definitely put whenever it's really really cold or when you're at home and it's cold these pants are they're basically the pair of the shirt so we're definitely going with this one i'm going to choose the color blue 
because why not? And with that, we have the final look of sadness. Let's go over now with the aspiration. As for aspiration again, I think I'll definitely choose um, family. As for traits, I'm definitely going to give her socially awkward because I think she's really socially awkward and a and a loner. I think she's also a loner. Um, she, I think, likes to be alone, crying herself or just feeling like, you know, melancholic. We can also choose gloomy, feeling sad all the time. That's, that's, that's actually quite perfect. And this is the final look of sadness. Moving on with fear. He is the ever watchful guardian of Riley's safety, constantly on the high alert, and he anticipates the worst possible scenario to keep Riley out of harm. Fear makes him the perfect protector because he's always planning and preparing for the potential danger. As for his look, I'm just going to give him some freckles. His mustache is going to be like that, like pointy. That is definitely the look for fear if he's like a real person at least for me let's go over with his clothes he also has a long sleeve shirt um in this case it is white and i think it's blue or is that purple not quite sure maybe i'm like tonic <laughs> but i think it's purple i'm gonna say purple um and he has like a best as well so he has a purple bow so that will be really interesting because like i said with anger ties were hard imaginable so let's see where we can actually find we have this one here but it doesn't have any tie and i don't think well okay this one is really good this sort of kind of look looks like the vest so i'll definitely choose this one here as for the pants i think he had like a purple color i don't know what the hell is with this guy's using purple <laughs> pants like what i think i'm not going to choose the purple because his tie is blue so let's go over and choose the blue pants and with that we have the final look of fear let's go over with his straight definitely something that is giving us fear we have erotic and i think that erotic is really convenient in this case okay so what do you guys think about socially awkward is he socially awkward because i think he is like if you see someone that is that fearful would you be that with that person? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. We don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. But okay, let's see. We have also Lodgel. He's Lodgel. He's really, really Lodgel to write his well-being. As for his last emotion, I think I'll choose clumsy. Because if whenever you're fearful, something happens and you can actually be quite clumsy. So uh, well, I, I'm really quite not sure about that one, but... Um, the other option was erotic, so let's try to shift club C just in case, and I hope you guys like that. <laughs> Here's fear final look, and let's go over with the next one. So let's go over with this goss. She is a sophisticated and discerning emotion in Riley's mind, always on the lookout for anything unpleasant or socially unacceptable. With her high standards and quick judgments, she helps Riley navigate his social interactions and avoid potential dangers. He hates and anything that is dirty, bad manners, anything that's unfashionable or unhealthy. And she avoids anything that's actually unpleasant to smells and sights. With that, let's go over with her style. Her accessories will be obviously really fashionable. I don't know about you guys, but I think this goss is giving me fashion girl like Chanel, Prada, Coach, maybe it's me but i think that that is it so for her her definitely a bob but it has to be fashionable like it, it can't be just you know that simple you can definitely try the same style we previously tried before with sadness and joy but i don't think so i don't think that's the vibe we're looking for we need something that that is something to really die for like that style we definitely have to go for that so let's see what we can find guys what do you think about this Bob. Okay, I think we found the perfect Bob. 
It is. It is. It actually it is. For her clothes, we definitely need a dress. I also downloaded some custom content and I think this one was perfect for her because it's really fashion. It looks luxury style. So uh, this is this one is beautiful. Look at that green color. It's wow, stunning. We have that and that was that one is beautiful. Let's see we have a green color. This is the last option we have and I think we have it in green as well, but I'm not quite sure to be honest. Let's see. Whoa, that long sleeve brown. Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think this guy would actually like that. <laughs> you know what guys? I'm definitely keeping that. We are. Yes, we are. <laughs> As for her traits, I'll definitely choose art lover. I think that she's someone that is fashion. She knows her art and she knows how to acknowledge art. Perfectionist. She is definitely perfectionist or not. Maybe hmm, neat. She's neat. She is neat and no one can deny that. So let's choose better. Um the trade neat and for the third one is uh snob maybe snob those are really like low quality items right but that would be so fatal though oh. no let's go let's go let's choose snob she is snob and that's it and with her final look this will be discussed oh. so moving on we're going to make angui and i hope i'm saying it right but basically joy calls him we we and basically it means mortem so sadly the purple color was horrendous so i'm going to choose blue because there is no purple here moving on with his clothes i'll definitely choose a sweater i don't know if we have purple we have brown we have white blue again a lot of blue but i'm purple so you can choose this one or this one and i think i'll definitely choose this one as for his pants he has like a sweat pants um uh, sadly i don't see them in purple so probably blue it is we have a blue person that actually is supposed to be purple but it is what it is with his aspiration and trace already this will be boredness or as we know wee wee Okay, moving on, we're going with MV. I'm not going to give a lot of details about her. I want you guys to actually watch the movie and see for yourself what is going on with MV and who is her and how is her style. So as for her skin, towards a diversity look, maybe into Inspire perhaps. I think that is something that I don't quite often see in sims 4 we'll definitely have to add bushy eyebrows and her color is basically like a baby blue i'll definitely add her some freckles and just for the cuteness and i think she also has freckles so i think that actually quite works for her her man it's it's really short and like puffy we have this option but it's just not it no oh uh, nope we have this one and i think this one is perfect this is from the solani pack as for her makeup um i see like a lot of blotch as for her lips i'm definitely going to choose a nude color just in case but honestly i don't see any type of color with her as for her clothes it's a dress it's a dress it has a bow we don't have a bow so we have this one but it doesn't have any purple this one i think this one might have a purple color we have this one it has a blue it has a purple dress, but the t-shirt is way off. So let's try to see if we can find anything else. I came back to this one, but to be honest, mm, I don't know. I still don't see her in that dress. <sighs> the last option we have is this one. Let's see if it's available in purple or blue. What do you guys think about this one? Is it quite right? Okay, I think we have the one. We have the gold. Yes, we do. And this is MV final look. Moving on with anxiety. Okay, so guys, listen out. Anxiety is just part of me. So that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm going to choose this white girl that it has freckles with blue eyes or green eyes as she has. Um, and I'll definitely, definitely put her as a ginger um, because of the orange um, hair color the emotion already has. As for the hair, 
this is really puffy i don't think this one is the one we're looking for though we previously showed one that had like this ponytail over here let's see if we're able to look at that that's really like nice i like this one but it's it's not a ponytail we need a pony <gasps> guys i think we found the one this is it this is it this is perfect as for makeup again i don't see anything like no eyeliner no um lipstick so i'm just going to choose a cute simple nude color as for her clothes we have again long sleeve sweater it has um stripe with like orange and white i don't think we have that but we can totally try to mimic that with another type or style something like that i don't know uh that one is cute it is orange no stripes and this is custom content as well we also have this option um white this one is cute and I think it's really appropriate for her style. As for the pants, they are brown. So we have to look for a brown pant with a belt perhaps, if we can find that. We have this ones, they're really skinny style. So here is Anxiety final look and we all know she's going towards the future. Got it? <laughs> uh. Our next one is embarrassment. He is really shy, really cute. He's always like really embarrassed for anything and everything that could happen to Riley. So he has a huge nose, okay? And I think that will be the final look for this face. As for the hair, I'm going to definitely do this punky hairstyle but in red. We also have this other option as well. It's curly, but I think it's not the one we we're looking for. So let's go back to the previous one that I already showed. I think this one is pretty close or we can go towards that one. I think we're going with this one because it has like pointy thing. So now let's make him a little bit more fat. <laughs> and with that, let's go ahead and choose his shirt or pinkish sweater i don't think we actually have that in um in sims but we have this one i think this one is pretty cute and it's pretty accurate with the one he is wearing never mind i end up using this one i think this one is way 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 more related than the one that i previously showed so let's go over with his pants maybe try this one here let's add socks so as for his shoes he has sneakers uh but no purple no pink so let's go ahead and choose this red option and presenting to you embarrassment <laughs> okay guys the final one is nostalgia okay so she's a granny so we'll definitely have to that wrinkles and that granny look she is giving cuteness we have to include some glasses i hope they don't glitch with the lashes this one actually is are perfect purple uh pink yay they're pink okay they're perfect they're perfect we don't have to look anything else we have the ones that we need as for the dress i have this one over here it's really elegant but i don't think it's the one i'm trying to look for i was not i'm not impressed honestly with okay. the options available for um the dresses as for granny so sadly we're going to choose this one and let's go up with with the leggings or ties as for the leggings i'm going to definitely choose another one i keep saying leggings are thighs so never mind anyways i forgot her hair so obviously that is much needed i don't know what happened to me but again it's really really short and like puffy so let's see if we have a good option for her this is the first option that i found um it's not giving the style that i want so let's see another one what about this one guys i think this one is actually perfect it is so that is it that is it guys we have the hair we have the glasses we have the dress almost because i didn't love it but that is it and with traits and aspiration ready we have nostalgia okay guys if you like this characters they are available in my gallery i'll definitely leave in the description all the information needed as for the custom content and for the id but definitely look them out i know they might not be perfect for everyone for for me they were so i hope you guys like so make sure to subscribe because we'll have the next week 
the inside out tiny home houses so are you ready for that because i know you guys will love that if you like my content make sure to like this video and i'll see you on the next one